All right, everybody, you've been asking for an update to my video. Yamaha put out an update around Thanksgiving time for firmware number 1.48, and this is for the Yamaha RX V6A, adding 4K 120 hertz support. So we're gonna check out what I found out right off the jump. And I'm back. Now, before I begin, let's give a big round of applause and shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I am working on your next demo drop. It should be coming out, uh, you know, in the first this week or next week. Um, yeah, just trying to get all the files labeled properly and all that kind of stuff. So stick around for that. And if you want access to all the patron goodies and at the same time, make a positive impact on the channel, Click the link down in the description and become a patron today. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I made a video saying that there won't be a firmware update and you actually have to do a board replacement. And that is still the case because I did, ran this update and I know a lot of you are like, oh, this works and that works and this works and that works. This does not work if you do not have the board update. So chances are, if it does work for you with just the firmware update, that means you probably ordered or purchased late enough that they already have the new board inside the unit. Uh, my one was one of the first ones out. So uh, yeah, what did I find out? First, when I went to try and do an OTA update, OTA stands for over the air. So you don't have to do a USB update. The OTA update just, it wasn't available. So then I'm frantically downloading the update and putting it onto a thumb drive and all that kind of stuff. However, while I was doing that, boom, it like turned white. So it's not grayed out. So I was able to do an over the air update for the new firmware 1.48. All right, so I've got Xbox Series X going into HDMI one on the Yamaha and then the output is going to the LG C1, which has pretty much all the gaming features working right out of the box. Now, after you update it, you do have to go in and change the HDMI mode. The first mode is for 4K 120, 4K 60 HDR. Mode two is 4K 60 and mode three is the 8K, which you know actually allows 4K 120 with HDR. So my first inclination is going to turn on 8K, right? So I did that. And when I went into the Xbox 4K TV details page, I get all green check marks. So that all looks good. I went and jumped into Call of Duty, however, which then engages 4K 120 HDR. And I am left with Nothing but this. It can't see anything. And this leads me to believe that I do need the board update because this is not working. Now I went ahead and tried a whole bunch of different, you know, variations of this. Like I went into mode one for HDMI. I tried turning off Dolby Vision. I tried putting it to 4K 120 and I was able to get 4K 120 without HDR on mode one. Mode three, the 8K mode. I still don't get anything. And I tried a bunch of different variations of it. So I don't think that's working right. I think I need the board update and then I have to do this firmware update. Again, for those of you that it is working, you probably already have the updated board and you just needed the firmware update. Same thing that happened with the Denon players, right? They got the little box, you know, and we had to update it again to unlock all the features of the new hardware. So I think that's what's going on here. And I emailed Yamaha and I haven't gotten anything back. So um, I'm shooting this on Monday and hopefully by Tuesday, they'll send me an email uh, answering the questions. And if there's like a certain serial number or manufacturer date from this point on, you know, we don't need the box, um, you know, to be turned in because the board was already updated. All right, what's up everybody? Future Chana is here. It is Tuesday around 1 p.m. So hopefully I'll get this video out soon. I would have had it out earlier, but I had to go to the doctor to get the staples removed out of my ankle. Um, yeah, so if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen part of that. Anyway, here is the response from Yamaha. I'm just gonna read it for you here. And again, this is for the models RX-A2A, RX-V6A, RX-V4A, and the TSR700. Around 2021, inventory of the above models arrived with updated boards that were remedied at the factory. 
These can update to 4K 120 with the firmware update. Not all previously manufactured models require the board update, but some of them do. So if you're having problems like mine, then you're definitely going to need a board update. It also says they'll have a serial number lookup tool on their site to help customers know if they may benefit from the board exchange. Uh, I don't know when that's happening. He didn't give a time. And he did say that the bandwidth is the same because that was one of the questions that Phil Jones told me to ask. So let's talk quickly about the bandwidth on these inputs. So back in 2020, and I just had a conversation with Phil Jones um, Monday this week about it because we did talk about it like months ago, but I just wanted to refresh my memory and get all of my facts straight. And basically, the situation is this. In 2020, when they had a chance to do these uh, 4K 120 slash 8K inputs, they had two choices of boards, two choices. One was that you had one input and two outputs, and that was capped at 40 gigabits per second, which is what Denon and Marantz used in their AV receivers. The second option was three inputs with one output, all capped at 24 gigabits per second. Well, when we look at the HDMI 2.1 ports that support 4K 120, you'll notice sometimes it'll say 4K 120A, 4K 120B, or 4K 120AB. So what do those letters stand for? A stands for compressed, B stands for uncompressed, and AB means that that port can support both compressed and uncompressed signals. So I would imagine TVs probably have that, you know, um, 4K 120AB, so they can, you know, collect signals from both compressed and uncompressed sources. And here's where the situation, uh, you know, took a turn in 2020 is that the manufacturers didn't know that they were supposed to choose a compressed or an uncompressed input for HDMI 2.1. They just assumed that they were all the same, and that's just not the case. And that's why the Xbox and the RTX uh, 3000 series graphics cards just weren't working. So, if you have a Yamaha, then you have the three HDMI 2.1 inputs that are capped at 24 gigabits per second. Now, if you want to look at the bandwidth chart, you will see like what that all supports. But if it is compressed, it can run 4K 120. I think it can run up to 10K compressed. However, uncompressed, you're going to need 40 gigabits per second, which is what you know, they put in the Denon. That's a little tidbit. And for those of you wondering, now this year, the Denon X1700 has three inputs and one output, and all of them are capped at 40 gigabits per second. So there you go. Let's get back to the video. Future Chana out. I don't get 4K 120 HDR or 4K 120 Dolby Vision at all. So there you go. You guys wanted an update? This is an update of what happened to me. And sadly, it could be different for you. So I don't know. Just double check. And yeah, I'm interested to see what they come back with uh, in their email. And hopefully they answer all the questions. So yeah, quick video for you guys today. And uh, that's about it. See you next time. Peace.